What's up, Wolfman fans? Another rando video for you. I'm on a uh, short smoke break right quick, so I figured good time to go ahead and do this. Uh, as always, these are my opinions. They don't reflect the uh, views and opinions of any uh, the group I work for or any other group that I'm really necessarily a part of. These are just my opinions. You may agree or disagree. That's all up to you. Feel free to d d discuss. As I've always said, that's what this channel is geared towards is discussion. Sorry, it's not the greatest lighting out here. Uh, there's a light down there, but I don't have anywhere to set my phone up to actually do this because this is on my phone. So earlier I was watching a video um, on my lunch break. A uh, guy got pulled over by a cop and it's not really clear why the cop pulled him over because the cop didn't tell him why he pulled him over. And he didn't tell him why he pulled him over because, as usual, a cop pulls you over and he's going to ask for uh, license, proof of insurance. Some states require uh, registration, stuff like that. I know Texas doesn't require registration because, boom, stickers on the windshield. But anyways, um, so the guy refused to hand over his information because the cop wouldn't tell him why he pulled him over. And then, as like I said, the cop wouldn't tell him why I pulled him over because he didn't hand over his like driver's license, or anything like that. And it's just one of those cases where there's a guy talking about, uh, I know my rights, I know the law, blah, blah, blah. Well, clearly you don't. Look, if a cop pulls you over you need to, and uh, stops you for any reason, you need to comply with the guy. You know, especially in this day and age, cops are jumpy. They're, you know, with with good reason for being jumpy. Just comply with the cop. Things are going to go a lot smoother. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a dipshit because then you, you're re resisting and he has every right to detain you. So be smart. Don't get drug out of your car and handcuffed. Just hand over your driver's license and proof of insurance. Whether you think you did anything wrong or not, his job is to look for somebody doing look for people doing something wrong and I don't I don't care how bad you don't want to take it or whatever just especially if you didn't do anything wrong I mean, if you don't believe you did anything wrong and you ain't got no, nothing to hide then why are you resisting why why aren't you handing over your driver's license for him to examine he's not gonna keep it he's not gonna take it from you but you know I was talking about that scenario with uh, one of the guys I work with, and we got to discussing this uh, Fort Worth officer. You guys may or may not have heard in the news, uh, Fort Worth uh, police was called on the non-emergency non line um, to report like there was a house, that, it, was, it was like late at night, and there was a house, it was a, I guess the door was open or something like that, and uh, it was a concerned neighbor. And they just called the police, they called the non-emergency line and say, hey look, could you check out the house, make sure everything's okay, because the door's not usually wide open, you know, in the middle of the night or anything. So the cops go to check it out. Well, what they do is they ended up searching the outside of the house, looking for anybody prowling around out there, I guess. And police officer drew his weapon and he fired at somebody that was inside the house through a window. He didn't see who it was. He just felt like he was in danger didn't announce himself nothing like that and there it is so now that police officer he's now out on bond but I mean he's still gonna be brought up on uh, murder charges as well he should be um, there's no nothing that he did was procedurally correct um, and not to mention he killed somebody wrongfully killed somebody who was just a sweet uh, sweet person uh, it was really good to her like I don't know if it was her, her nieces and nephews or if it was her grandkids I don't remember but she was like a really loving family person and now she's dead for no reason because of jumpy cop so I got a quick message to both ends of the spectrum both civilians and the police all right all civilians guys cops cops are doing their jobs let them do their job don't give them a hard time don't be that person that sits there and goes, 
uh, I don't have to speak to you. I know my rights. I don't have to hand you any information. But just don't be a dick. You're going to make things harder on yourself. Understand, not all cops are bad. Yes, there are some racist cops. Yes, there are some uh, just messed up, corrupt cops. There are some asshole cops that just because they're wearing a uniform, they, they're on a power trip. But they're, for every one of those kind of guys, there's a you know, hundred others that are out there just doing their job and trying to do their job to the best of their abilities and then get home safe at night to their families. So, and I, and I know this because I have a lot of friends of mine that are cops, uh, a number of them here in Texas and a number, uh, a number of them out of state. Guys I knew back in the army, they're now police officers. Guys, they're doing their jobs. Don't make their jobs any harder. You wouldn't want somebody to come into your job and making your job difficult, so don't do it to them. On that same spectrum, cops, police up your own people. You guys know when you've got a bad apple in your group. You know when you got a corrupt dude. You know when you've got an, a, a, a dude on a power trip or a racist guy. You know these things. And there are steps that you guys can take. I know this, there has to be. I'm not a cop myself, but I know there has to be things that can be done to report this individual, have him investigated. You know, do whatever you gotta do. Police up your own dudes. Because there's a reason people are nervous about you guys. It's not for nothing. And yes, I know, like the whole, uh, was it the hands up, don't shoot, and the, all the stuff that that came from, was garbage. We know the guy did was doing something wrong, and he, he, you know what? He got he what was coming to him. That may not be a popular opinion, but look, if you rob a, a convenience store and then you try to beat up on the cop and grab his gun and he shoots you, you cannot be surprised. All right, that's just all there is to it. I don't care how good of a kid he was in high school, or how his mother saw him only in a positive good shining light he did something wrong and even if he had not done something wrong his entire life that one moment would have been enough that's all it takes a wise man once told me you can build a million bridges in life you fuck a goat one time you're a goat fucker for the rest of your life and that's the way it is I digress I let's get back on topic Cops, police up your own. You guys understand that there's a reason people are kind of taking a hard stance against police officers and not cooperating. These are the reasons why. Because you do have assholes out there that are doing the wrong thing, and you guys know that they're doing the wrong thing. There needs, you guys need to make an effort to fix that. To everybody listening, to everybody watching, cops are supposed to serve and protect. That's their job. And sometimes that involves pulling you over when you did something something stupid on the road or did something, you know, you weren't paying attention or whatever. You did something on the road that cost, constitutes a traffic violation. Sometimes it's something stupid like that, but they're still doing their jobs. One of the biggest problems we have in this country is paranoia of one another. We're so scared of what we say because we're worried about what someone else will think. We're scared of the police because we're afraid of getting uh, arrested or arrested for no reason or shot, at, you know, at worst, shot and killed for no reason because we did nothing. And the cops are scared to do their jobs and protect people because they're afraid of getting uh, finger pointed at them and blamed for just, you know, racism and, you know, police brutality. They're afraid to do their jobs. There's a lot of police forces out there that are, they're in need of officers. And they're trying to get more people, more officers, so they can adequately um, cover their jurisdiction. This is the reason why. We've got to stop being scared of one another. We have to start respecting one another. We got a lot of problems up at the top, topmost areas, uh, positions of this country. 
that's where we're cons our concern is. We've got a lot of corruption to a disgusting amount and to a disgust, even more disgusting and absolutely terrifying level that uh, many of you don't know about. Some of you guys out there might actually know what I'm talking about. And uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, as always, do your research and kind of get in what I'm talking about here because I'm not going to go into it in this video. But there's some really deep, dark, horrible, disgusting, terrifying things that are going, up in the up, going on in the upper echelons. But if we can't stand together having mutual respect and understanding for each other and work together, we cannot do anything about what's going on up top. How are we going to stop that when we're too busy fighting amongst ourselves? The old adage, divided we stand, or uh, united we stand, divided we fall. If we stand together, we stand as one nation, and we stand as a force to be reckoned with, and we can take back the power that belongs to the people, not to the bigwigs in the government, not to the politicians. Don't trust politicians. Politicians aren't celebrities, they're elected officials, and they serve you. Things they get away with, we need to fight that. But we can, again, we can't do it if we're divided. They know that, so they're going to do everything they can to keep us divided. They're going to keep so using the media. They're going to keep using the media. They're going to keep using all kinds of social networking and all that kind of stuff and keep feeding you misinformation, sowing the seeds of fear and distrust. That's how they keep us divided. We cannot let ourselves be ignorant enough to buy into such nonsense. So, in closing, because i got to get back, uh, you guys... You know, stop being paranoid of the police. Let them do their jobs. Police, you know, clean up, do some house cleaning. Clean up house, and there's some people you know who they are that you need to get rid of. Take care of business. Um, guys, we need, to start, we need to start working together. We can't stand apart any longer. We're supposed to be a country united, not a nation divided. That's all from me. As always, you guys, watch your six. Stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next video. Later.